groups. Now we'll see if anybody shows up. Hey VA, hey Jessica, how are you? Hey VA, Jessica. Why is this not doing this? There we go. You shouldn't get the spins. Warm, it's 92 degrees with, with the dew point here. And we're expecting really heavy rains for the next two days. So we're good. Otherwise, I was sick started Saturday after I came back from the pig fest. And I started getting this really dry, scratchy, and I'm like, yeah, maybe it's just, you know, my allergies or whatever. Hey, Flo. So basically, I ended up getting not overly sick, but bad enough to where I was coughing and hacking all day yesterday, and I was in bed. You're in bed for two days. Well, you know, Sunday was, was the bad part of it. Yesterday was bad, but today isn't so bad. So, yep, otherwise, I'm doing well. Can't complain. So, how was everybody's day? Everybody have a good day? Today is Tuesday. Why did that all of a sudden do? I said you were live on my phone. Hi, Beth. Hi, so, yeah, Lily. I'm, uh, hi, Lily. Sorry, it's just hot. It's 92 with the dew point, and it's going to get worse oh, because, yeah, yes. I already... yeah, this weekend it was supposed to be so Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday here. It's supposed to be over 100 degrees. <laughs> So yeah, fun. With poor air quality. Hey Charlie. With poor air quality. So anybody that has like asthma or anything along that line. You and me both, Beth. I mean, I don't mind like 70, like even 75, 78, 80 degrees without humidity during the day and about 60 at night to sleep. I can handle that, but when it when it comes to a point where it starts getting really humid like this, yeah, I'm not I'm not a good happy camper with that. And Charlie has asthma. Yep. So Bonnie, Bonnie, yeah, Bonnie has asthma too. So, yep, it's bad. So yeah, I just figure, I know I do Tuesday night trivias, but just didn't get any of my trivia stuff that I normally do because I was hacking and coughing my brain time. So, we'll just chit chat. I never know if you see the stuff that I tag you on Facebook. I never know if you see the things that I tag you So how was everybody's week? Like, mm -hmm. Oh no, it should that you did today. But I feel like I tagged you in forever, though. I don't always look for all my notifications because, like, there's literally a real Yeah, I'm sure, Lily, coming to Newfoundland, Finland, yeah, Newfoundland, or however you pronounce it. But, yeah, it's, uh, what we're getting with the heavy rain is the end of Harvey, or Harry, or Harvey, or whatever the hell I was. So... Yep. But I got mail in the mail today. And you'll all know where it's from as soon as I show you this. <coughs> but it's it's warm here. It's it's bad. It's um, let's sit down. my kids are saying, Are you leaving? 
Yeah, while well, it's hot, it's, it's like it's horrible. Yeah, but if they keep their curtain tucked up all the way and open the door for a little while, close it, open it, their room stays cool. I don't think it's bad in front of a fan, but it is There's what it is. There's a big difference from out here compared to I'll tell you what, when I went to the dollar store today, walked in there, there was no difference between outside and inside. Mm, yeah, it's like that in Walmart. Nope, that's the problem. I unfriended everybody I work with. Tonight that's you say, yep, yeah, sweat's pouring off me, but I have it's a fan. Somebody is telling my business. So like I said, it's just another day in paradise. The bad thing about it, like you said, is the rain. We're expecting quite a bit of rain, but I don't know how much. Do you want to go post that on? I already did ours. Do you want to post it anywhere else? Now, because most people probably won't get notifications. Notifications. I'll do that in a couple minutes. So, Lily, don't you wish you were back down in Tennessee? Could always move to Alaska. Well, Lily's been in the She said she never complained about the people here. Yeah, well, because she's on the northern coast. I like fall. Yeah, probably, Jess. Fall all year round is good for me. Exactly that. So, yep. Yeah, it's, uh, you get, you get used to it after a while, though. Russell came in my room and he goes, I'm done with the passy. It don't work. Let's see how long that lasts. Hey, Ignited Coyote, how are you? Yeah, I did two cooking vlogs, and then Malia cooked dinner tonight, so I'll put that up later on. <coughs> Bonnie goes back to work tomorrow, so. I'm sure she didn't want to remind her. Well, at least it's air conditioned. Oh, right. Somewhat. Somewhat. Better than this. Do you want me to try to put that other air conditioner in tomorrow? No. Okay. I am talking. Your office is like set in a funny place, like. In Dang, autocorrect. Place. Yeah. I'm going to the offices. I'm going to the office. I'm going to the office. The rest of mine is there. YWCA, the Greater Capital Region. Let's hope so, Lily. We had a severe storm watch today, but most of it was down south, um, down around Herkimer and down around New York City. We know, I mean, just like 40% chance of rain, but yeah, it's supposed to be, what is it supposed to be? What's tomorrow? Wednesday. It's Wednesday night and Thursday is supposed to be when we're supposed to get the heaviest rains. Hey, Zard, how are you? I know you do, Charlie. We're still working on it. I was actually thinking of you today, Charlie. I was looking at Amtrak with the little, um, lack of a better word, their, their little hotel rooms on the train. Really kind of neat, but they're expensive. I looked, it's like $389, depending on how far you go. And that's one way. So, like, if I was going from here to California, it's quite the expense. But they have beds, they have, like, a toilet, a little shower. Not that my fat butt would fit in the shower, but hey. So, yeah. Say hello to Christina. Hi, Christina. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you come in. I'm looking at the screen, now looking at that screen. Sorry, hi. How are you? So, yeah, I got a 
package in the mail today from uh, Will and Dawn. They sent me magnets. They sent me stickers. They sent me postcards. So yeah, that's cool. So this magnet goes on my fridge. The stickers I'll figure out. Hey everybody, I just wanted to say a great big thank you to everybody that wished me a happy birthday yesterday. It means a lot. It really made my day to have so many um, birthday wishes on Facebook and YouTube. And I appreciate you all. I really do. Thank you. But, yeah, it's uh, quite warm here. Like you said, it's about 92. But you can see the clouds are starting to back in. So when that usually happens, within about 12 hours, we get rain. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> On your Yeti cup? That's cute, Jessica. What's a Yeti cup? Thanks, Denise. Hey, Denise. Thank you, Flo. Thanks, Ignited Coyote. Jessica. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Rhonda. They just got notification. Hey, not Rhonda. Yeah, not are. too late. We've been on for about 10 minutes, I guess. One minute, but it's okay. Yeah, we cooked in the crock pot today. Not turning that oven on, not standing in front of a stove. So they had the chuck steak. Why do they call them chuck steak anyway? Why can't it be bob steak? Thanks, BTD. Hey, BTD. Anyway, um, Rhonda, uh, Malia cooked today in the crock pot. So I actually, yes, I, I vlogged it and I'll put it up somewhere else some other time because I'm working on a couple other things. Thank you, Rhonda. How's your temperature down there, BTD? Because it's 92 degrees here with the humidity. Hey Nathan. Hey Nathan. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, they are. Yeah, crockpots are probably God's blessing to people like me that don't like cooking in front of the heat anymore. And believe me, I have free crockpots. Ninety-seven. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, well, it's gonna be that hot no. here in the next few days. I'm sorry, sir. Love you. No. Hey William. William. How are things with you, sir? Oh, hey, anybody know anybody that lives near Paducah, Kentucky? Even got the babies to say, uh, uh, Russell to say Paducah. Anyway, we were looking at the radar this morning, this morning, late, well, actually it was mid-morning. Holy crap, people. Tomorrow, Denise. Yes, 97 degrees is heck weather, yes. I agree with you. <coughs> And we're supposed to actually, what is it, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're supposed to be with the heat and disease over 100 degrees. And poor air quality. And poor air quality. Maybe so anybody bit. that has asthma or any kind of breathing problems, the ozone will go through the roof, stay the hell inside. It's getting ready to storm there, Christina. Yeah, we're, we're going to get a hit Christina, tomorrow. you know me, I'm a little <laughs> tough in the head. Where are you exactly? Or roughly exactly? Roughly exactly, that's a little bit redundant, or, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? You know what, the heck with it, just give me your zip code. Yeah, you probably, everything, yeah, whatever you get, we tend to get to, South Bend, Indiana. Tell you, give me the zip code, it's easier. Give me your zip code. Four six six two eight. I'll do it another way. Four six six two eight. I can do it another way. Seventy eight sixty percent. Yep, it's coming right up from the south. Yeah. Tag on, there, guys. Appear a little slow. You know, Bob, with this weather, he lives for it. Yeah. Yeah, all over the place. I mean, like, all over the place. 
Guess you're having a rough night there, Christina. 19320. Hang on. Let's see what's going on on that back end. Well, and what Denise gets, we tend to get. That's where I'm going. Oh, Christina, that's wonderful. What? You get 700 subs today. 700? Yep, good, good for, for you. you. 911 BTV? Is that your zip code? Should be. She has a uh, air quality alert, Denise does. Air quality That's alert. Heat, get, heat advisory in effect from July 17th at 11 a.m. till July 17th at, at 8 p.m. Ooh. That's Denise? Yeah, hang on. down south Jeremy and she's got a little plug but little thunderstorm that he's headed maybe towards you uh, hang on I can tell you how fast it's moving it's easy don't you know me I'm the boy next door when you find it easy to ignore hey Karen hi Karen yeah Jeremy Denise, how far is Lancaster away from you? <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. How are you, Karen? minutes to the west. You got a thunderstorm headed to you. And then it's just rain behind it. So you should be alright. Hey Charlie. Charlie Charlie. Yes, I did see your comments. Sorry, I just wasn't wasn't commenting yet, but I would love to see the rock collection. <laughs> I love looking at those. So then he's got a thunderstorm coming. Not major, it's just a little plit thing, but a lot of rain behind it. Possible, William, but you'd have to go really early and be careful. That's the problem. Once that sun gets up and starts heating that day, that's the big problem. We're expecting 37166. Three, Hang on, Jess. Why did that just do that? My computer's being weird. Yep, it will be a steam bath. I agree, Denise. Hi, Mari. Mari. Jesus. Every, worry, buddy. Everywhere I've gone, I've hit. Everywhere I've gone, everybody that's given me zip codes, you guys, yep. Four corners. Jeremy, all four corners. Let's see if we can light this up in composite. Hang on, guys. I'm working on it. Yeah, it's all bowling, hey. bowling green. Jeremy. Who? Hey, Jeremy. Hi. Thank you for popping in. Right now we're talking weather and all the heat and storms and. Anybody got a boat I can borrow from? Uh, like midday, well, late midday tomorrow into Friday morning. Promise I'll bring it back. I'll even clean it. How are you, Mario? and how was your day? Because it's 92 with the heat here, bub. Yeah, well, a lot of people down south got it worse, bub. 
Jeremy Hoosier. Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy. Yeah, it's funny. You're, right. you're, you're funny, Karen. I like you. You be into the punch on that one, Karen. The electricity goes live on my screen. That I probably would do too, my dear. It's already been raining. Yeah, it's we call it what we call the four corners. Is what I use radar. It's ours. Then I go into Denise's. I end up going to Ohio or Indiana, depending in Tennessee. It's what we call the Four Corners. Dark clouds over Pittsfield. Charlie, go check NOAA.gov. Punch in your zip code. Let me know what you come up with. Hey, BTD. So, yeah, every that's why I told her. I said it's a jackpot night because every Four Corners I went, everybody's got storms. <laughs> Uh, sorry guys, I'm just getting over the stupid cold or whatever the hell this was. <laughs> what? Lori said I punched in my zip code and got 50 feet of snow. Oh really? I'm going to your house. Go to your house, Mark. Easy. I'm going to go. Yeah. Not right, going to cover me. Uh -huh. She's saying cover. You good? Sorry. <sighs> so yeah, I uh, the only thing that hurts on me is right around my rib cage from coughing so bad. Like I said, it started Saturday after I got back from the pig fest. I had this like scratchy, and I figured, ah, it's probably from the smoke or maybe my allergies or whatever. It got bad money, I'll tell you, Sunday, Sunday and yesterday in bed. Thank God for NyQuil. Mark said, that's some, some mug there, Bob. Check over the North Pole. I can't go that far. That's actually. Well, not on Noah. There's got to be probably something else, though. I can't even use Canada. It won't go that far. I can only stretch across Alaska, and that's as far as I can go. It won't go any further. And I'm not using Russia's. Bob is allergic to what? Q? Oh. What? You lost me on that one more. Oh, dear Mari. Dear Mari. Uh, you're funny. You're funny, Mari. Yeah, somebody else the other night when I was in somebody else's chat and they were saying about their daughter um, had it and it was just kicking them. Chris, hey, how are you? Oh, well, look who, hey, Chris about t-shirts. Hello. How Good are you, buddy? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? How's Mindy? Haven't seen you in a while. How you been? Oh, Q is barbecue. Got barbecue. We're big to the barbecue. That's possible. Yeah, I don't know, Mari. I had it. It was, and it just got progressively worse. About t-shirts, Mari. So how you doing, Chris? You doing all right? Everything okay? Yeah. Oh, really, Denise? Yeah, it's mental. Which so, I think. so, Dayquil puts you to sleep? You said, Karen, I don't care what it Opposite is. Opposite effect. It knocks me out. That's really, that's, that's, that's the prime objective when I'm even sick. Just wondering, I mean, out. she said Dayquil puts her, puts her, just keeps her awake. Does Dayquil put her to sleep? Don't know that. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> So how you been, Chris? You doing all right?
You have to pull it. I'm about staying away for too long. There you go, Chris. Kind of miss you there, brother. Yeah. Miss your live streams. I do. I worry about you. All Fuck right, Chris. Daylight. As long as you're okay. Peaches. Hi, Peaches. How are we? <coughs> yeah, Chris, sometimes things knock us off track a bit, so you just hang in there. What road trip, Chris? Guys, hold on a minute. I'll be right back. Ow. Well, Maureen, yes, for some of us, we have to have shirts. He's picking it up, Maury. What did he buy? What I brought through? Is that what he said? No, he just said you better pick that up, Bob. Pick what up? Act like I threw something. Oh. Peaches. How are you? Thinking about you today. Want to order another CD, older CD. See if I can find it first. Oh, sweet, Chris. I didn't know. What? I heard him talking about traveling. Who, what? Uh, Chris and Mindy are going with Will and Dawn on their road trip. Cool. You know, Will's been talking about going on a trip. I don't remember where yep, you guys are Yep, that's headed, cool. That's awesome, Chris. That works for me. Yeah, thanks for the news, Charlie. What did he say? He said we're in a hazardous weather outlook till Monday. Oh, Christmas. Uh, you'll see it. It'll come past your window. Gone down to Destin. Okay, that's right. I remember him saying something in one of his live streams. Oh, that's awesome. Ah, Chris. Yeah, I love doing stats. But anyway, Peaches, I'm, uh, you and Lewis in the news, I'm on looking to, to get, I had one, no idea where it went, maybe I didn't, I maybe I mentioned it, but I want to get you and Lewis in the news, sports, I want to get that CD again, love that album. Yes, Chris, safe travels for all of you, sounds like you'll have an awesome time. Really fun group of people. Come up here and, and camp, Chris. You might want to bring your water rings. Hi, Mike. Try. Hey, Thank Mike. you. Thank you so much. Doorbell. Marley. Okay, let me see. But we are back. You keep talking. Is there somebody at the door? Is this what you're parking No, at? I didn't hear anybody. No, Bob just told me today, Peaches. I'm going to go check it out when we get done. Marley, Marley. Okay, there's nobody there's there. There's nobody here. Yes, well, it's the only doorbell we need, Mari. Because she hears things a block down the street before we even hear them or see them. Marley, go lay down. Yeah, this is like really, like, like... Cue the Jeopardy music. Do, 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 I'm a long do, way do, from do, Siberia. Do. We do not live in, at least we don't live in Siberia right now. Chris, it's too hot for that. No, I think I live at the mouth of Hades right now, Chris. <laughs> yeah, Peaches, it's the cowboy. Simo said he sent him back. <coughs> There's somebody up talking. Oh, no, it's the lady with the dog. Uh, all right, let's see. She heard her, like, a block down the street. How she does Never that. been to Destin, Florida. Never had the pleasure. I'm not even sure. What part of Florida is that in? It's not a ghost, Peaches. 
It is. It's cowboy. Simo told me last night. He yeah, Simo sent me the damn cowboy. I'm sending that damn cowboy back to Simo. So if you see this Simo, I'm sending it back. It's those hippies and those mutant teenagers. Damn Mari. hippies. I'm telling you. Right. Absolutely, Mari. It's in the panhandle. Okay. All right. That's looking out my kitchen window. Remember those mutant teenagers, Denise? I think you were there that night, maybe. Mutant um, teenagers. Denise remembers mutant teenagers. Yeah, well, because you never know. It's a clown. I don't know what say. It's in the Panhandle, Florida. Never, never had the pleasure, Chris. I've never been to the Panhandle. Spent all my time on the southeast coast. The only time we ever went through the Panhandle was back out when we went from... Oh, to Alabama. From Alabama, crossing back into Florida. Yep, yep. Well, because we went across through Tallahassee. Right? It's not a clown. Jeremy, help me out of this spot, would you? Well, it's not a clown. It's a cowboy. That's getting dark. Behind <coughs> us. I checked everybody else's. I never checked ours. Yeah. Hey, I don't, for those of you that have been um, in our streams for a while, do you remember Johnny Moore? Does anybody remember Johnny Moore? He got called to go back to Afghanistan. I don't know if anybody, Peaches, you might, Karen. Um, BTD would. BTD would remember. Anyway, we did get, um, I got a message from him a few days ago. He is back home safe. Um, I don't know, he said that... Uh, at least for four months, and then time will tell. But at least for now, he's home and safe. And he thanked everybody for, um, you know, praying for him and, and keeping him in prayer while he was away. What yeah, was, Karen, what was that I know. under what live stream? Um, Do you remember? Yeah, I could find it. Uh, yeah, we got a problem. We got a big Why problem. Why do we have a problem? Please don't give me any problems. My brain cannot resolve problems this evening. I checked everybody else's <laughs> radar except my own. <laughs> Oops. Please don't give me the news. Hang on. Uh, Guys, I'm going to move you just, just a little bit. Mm. I never checked ours. Oh, that's headed our way, huh? I don't know if they're going to be able to see that, and I'm so delayed. Let me see if I can see. Well, you're going to have to give me a minute. That's my radar. They have been retracted, Maury. Yes, they absolutely have. Oops. I check everybody else's. I never check my door. Crap. I don't tell you what. Jeremy, this is climb. This is the one. Yeah, this is the one behind us, and it's coming right up in. Herkimer are all the way out. Oh well. Even Bob makes mistakes, guys. I'm not perfect. I'm human. So, Ron and BTD, how was your day? Johnny Moore posted on, commented on our Hello, Is There Anybody Out There video. That's the one it was. Read three it. days ago. Sure, read it. Hang on. One second. You didn't tell me to read it before I closed it. Well, I do apologize. I figured you were going to read it. Well, I didn't. But I will. One second. <coughs> he said. And this is what I've been listening to all day. Just this one song. It says, I'm back, Bob. We trained some Afghanistan soldiers to jump out of planes into combat zone. Now that I'm done with that for another four months anyway, I'm going to enjoy some of your videos. Let's get to it, buddy. But that was um, a couple days ago. But at least he's home safe. Hit up, I'm high. Oh, God, that's not even. Oh, thunderstruck. No. Oh, that sounds good, Mike. 
I cannot pray for the light. I might welcome a little Anybody song remember this you. song? Walking on the Thin Line, Huey Lewis in the News. Billy! Huh? What? <laughs> Don't you know me? I'm the boy next door. I just said Billy. Who said Billy? Who, who calls you Billy? Andy. Andy! Sorry, I was on another part of my... Hello, Andy. <laughs> wow, that's dark, Bob. Okay, babe. We're going to get ready. Snow is coming. No, it's not. Hi, Andy. Chicken kebabs. Yes, sir. Hey, Andy, how are you? See vinyl. Meldo? Yeah, very unmistakable, but the problem with that, Chris, is he's got problems with his ears. So when it's like everything coming in, but his brain can't kind of, so he gets like it all at the same time, like like people talking and all the mute thing. Yeah, he was on CBS, good morning or whatever. So he has some kind of disease in his inner ear that he doesn't sing anymore, which is kind of sad, but. Jessica said we need light on the live stream before too long, 10 Bob. Why? Why? It's getting dark? Yes, Denise said it's getting dark. There, better? There you go. Now you get to see my ugly face. Yeah, it's sad, Chris, because, I mean, Sports was one of the best albums. That's really what brought them out. They were still touring right up to about a year ago. Welcome back, BTD. Hi, BTD. Didn't know you left, so welcome back. So, yeah, it's kind of, wow, she remembered her plate. She Don't was. throw that under there. She throw was. it up she there. In the what? Can you ask Hope if she'd take Molly out before it gets too dark? Do you want to say hi to your friend, cool. Chris, about t-shirts that you haven't seen in a while? Hello, fans. You gotta give it a second because remember it's still in. Yeah, I checked all four corners radar. You wanna guess who's we didn't check? <gasps> oh wait ours, dumb butt. <laughs> Karen says hello. Hello. Well I'm Maury said finally some real. Real tell on this channel. <laughs> Say hi, Maury. Very funny, Maury. <laughs> It's so good to see you. Yes, Jessica, they Hello, do. People. Peaches, Lily. Mm, got some hair on your chin. Now for you to go. <laughs> wow. The innocence of children. Can you ask Hope if she'll take her out before it gets dark, baby? Yeah. Hi, girl. Oh, we'll tell her, wait a minute, Molly's out. Nope, you're not the only one that has kids that forget their plates. And he says she's prettier than you. Really? And I thought I was specially you. Marley, that's just a joke. Doorbell. Oh, that's her in the shower? You want to take her out? Want to be careful? Um, ask the, uh, the I can do it. Yeah, Uncle Carl should be out there. He Go. Take your light with you. You'll need it. Okay. Stay right in front. Not over to the side. Please. <laughs> this Bob is tired of the other end. No. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> no. <coughs> Ow. It's the only thing about having that bad cough. It's right around my rib cage. That's actually an old... Isn't it Cumberland Farms? Mom? Hey, Cynthia. Really, Mari? 
Wow, he's just blowing him out tonight. Yes, he is. Nothing I love you, dude. I do. To the one man's mug. <coughs> i tell you what, you stay hydrated here in this heat. Isn't that like a Cumberland Farms big gulp? No, it was, what was the, the gas station? Hess. Oh, Hess gas station. And it was called, this thing is so old that it's peeled off, but it was called the Avalanche, and I had a top to it. It was, that cup's got to be at least... Half a gallon. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably about 10 years, maybe. Oh, yeah. Going on 10 years, a little over 10 years. It actually has a bubble right here because I got it too close to the heat and almost melted it. But it's still good. Still works. Yes. Yes, Denise, we've heard from her after the storm. Bob can't have nice things. Never have nice things. We have nice things. I break them. I keep them away from or I tri Or I trip over them. I keep them away Or from I'm still stepping on Legos in the middle of the night, but hey. Hi, Lady Base. How are you? Hey, LBP. <coughs> Rain and white shirt and Bob. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's an insane amount of rain. <clears throat> Can't see it yet, but it's there. Yes, that he is, BTD, but what? he does love the weather. Bob spells his name backwards. He does. Guess what it is? Bob. Bob the weather builder. If I was building weather there, Mari, honestly, it would be about 80 and no humidity and about 65 at night. I could handle that. Oh, love chili, Jessica. Just made chili. You made chili without me? Really? But... Kentucky Coal Miner. Hey, what's up? How are you? Welcome. Welcome. Saw the cemetery. Yeah, they, you know, because being down on Lake Pontchartrain like that, Denise, and you got to remember, the lake is higher than, so that's why they built those walls around, but water still gets through. Oh, thank God, Cynthia. Pardon me. Duh. Yeah, I like the 50s at night too, Charlie. 65's high and 50's at night. Yeah, that'd work, Charlie. For me, it would. You're right. Cynthia said they had tornado warnings earlier, but no touchdowns. That's that's probably a good thing. <laughs> shut up, Bob. Hey, wait a minute. Shut up, Marley. Not shut up, Bob. Shut up, Bob. <coughs> really? Actually, that's why I like the fall here during the day. It's like, what is it, about 665, maybe 68 during the day, you know, and then it's cool at night, leaves are changing, it's crisp, it's nice. Oh, Lady Bass, too, at the same time? Oh, prayers are coming your way. So sorry to hear that. Ah, uh, not good. Prayers. Yeah, no, William, I, I wouldn't want to be on top of a mountain in a lightning storm either. Sniffling like an old girl. Really? Here, let me give you a kiss and one night you get sick. Thank you, Malia. Malia. <laughs> Thank you so much. David. Yeah, so do I, Charlie. Love autumn up here. I really do. I'd love to call her change the fall. Unfortunately, after fall, you know what, what comes after. The horrid winter that lasted 83,000 months. Thank you, Bell Time Lady. What did she say? She said, I'm not about the winter lasting 140,000 days. Well. 
Thank you, DC dear. Thank you, Malia. Make sure the top's on it so it doesn't. Wait, can I just go on? Yes. Yeah, pumpkin weather. Hi, Danny. How are you there, sweetheart? Oh, yeah, we need to talk about that after. So anyway, all the new people that are here, I got a nice... Really, Bob doesn't love snow, but he really doesn't love the extra heat either. Y'all know this one. This came in the mail today. It says, greetings from the Great Smoky Mountains to our friends Bob, Bonnie, and family from Yankee in the South. Who's Dixie? So yeah, that was a nice one. I have a magnet and one that I'll put that up on the fridge. But he asked me, yes, asked Bonnie the other day I've got it, but I think her mail was late because of the storms. It happens. Ha <laughs> ha ha. How the hell did that happen? I was trying to. Thanks, BTD. I was going there. You're just faster than me. Thank you, sir. Yankee in the South ironically lives in California. I don't think you want to live out there right now. How did that get on there? I have no idea. Okay. Report. Report. No idea. Thanks, BTD. You know you make it when you get trolls, guys. How do we get them blocked? You have to block it. See, it's somebody that has... Oh, he's already hidden. So, okay. Hi, Karen. Thanks, Karen. Because, Jeremy... They're com coming in, they're subscribing <laughs> under different names. Oh, this is crazy tonight. Yeah, we had it, was it the last one or the one before that, too? We had a number, but this is way more. And how did they post that thing on our... I don't know how they're doing how it. How does that happen? There, that'll stop it. I agree, Kentucky coal miner. Yeah, I mean, they don't have anything to better do with their time. You know, so, it is what it is. You give them a piece of day, and that, that's their, their little ha-ha sitting behind their computers. <clears throat> I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know, Lady Base. Maybe we have to change our password? Shouldn't have to. Hi, Marvin. Marvin. Long time no see. How are you? I don't even know how they're, they're, they're putting that up on the Okay, how, how do we get that off? Anybody know how they do that? Anybody have any idea how I stopped that? Yeah, like I'm not. No. No, we are not putting that Yeah, welcome there. to Trollandia. I don't even know how to do that. Uh, they'll stop after a while when they realize they can't just keep doing it. We'll just keep don't walking. Don't use that program. What program? I don't even know what that is. I lost my cup and now I'm mad. I'm sorry I'm mad. What did you lose? My cup. Well, go get another cup. So get another cup. No, it's a cup I could do with my arms that got spilled. Oh. oh. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Charlie, I mean, it is what it is. You know you make it when, when you have that problem. You know, it's, it's, they're idiots. What? Yeah, Danielle. What? 
said she might need to change her name. She's not taking my cup. Hell no. That is true, Maury. Troll, yeah. It's the only legitimate troll. You're right, Maury. Sorry, guys. It is what it is. There's really not much. I'm using Streamlabs, so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I took Bob's cup, exchange it for some shirts. Is that how you think they're doing it, BTD? What did she say? Streamlabs been it. No, I don't know. Keep blocking them after a while. They realize they're blocked. They can't do it anymore. I don't know how that's happening. Hey, Peaches. All right, BTD. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Karen, it does. You know, it's the nature of the business. You know, just like family members. And I'll, that's all I'm going to say about that tonight. Where are you off to? Can, can you help me before you go? I, I've decided that these are the pants I'm going to put in. They're on my cup. <laughs> Where was your cup? I popped the shelf. Why yeah. was it on the shelf? I know I'm going to try to do this. Blow it. Where's Russell now? Hey, Mom, and then, I'm sleeping. And then it's going to not go all <laughs> Yeah, I'm not changing my name. I won't do that, Ignite Coyote. I, I wouldn't give them the satisfaction. You know, I've got some rude comments on some of my videos. All I do is just block them. doesn't bother you got them me. got pulled through? Oh, you're awesome, because I really would have worked hard at that. Well, and I got yes, did I did, probably. Peaches, this morning. It was horrible. Did you wash your hair? Horrible. No. They have one of those, that's, a, that's actually the second one I've seen break like that, Peaches. You know the pendulum rides? Yeah. They go like this and spin. They have one in India, snap, if two people oh. dead, 20 pump people injured. Oh, that's awful. Yep. No. I saw that's the second time in like four weeks I've seen that, Peaches. No, BTD, I'm here too, but every time I went to go do it, you're faster. And then, of course, Karen and, and Daniel. Karen's in here, Troll's in here. We're good. You're just faster at it. I'm going to change to my name not to... Really? <laughs> yeah, that's awful, Peaches. What's awful? All right, Marvin. We'll just, you know, follow your, your plan. Follow your plan. That's all I can hey, say. Hey, Mike. How did the kebabs come out? And do you deliver? Now, I use my crock pot tonight too hot here, 92 degrees in the shade. It's like. We need more, more what? That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> good, Karen, thank you. They're not mine. Who are they? Oh, thank you. One. Mm -hmm. A singular one. I know what I want means. Can you can you give me coffee? Yes. <laughs> wow. Want in your coffee? For that. <laughs> no, I don't want it in my. For coffee. that, hope take two. Yay! Yes. Might as well take another one because you know your darn sister will be out here. Yay! Can yes, I Denise. <laughs> Make sure that coffee pot. That was me. stupid, Denise. That's oh, just oh, looking I, for I, trouble. I saw it so many times. I had to finally start hiding it because. It makes me sick to my they're stomach. They're not papas. They're mamas. Make, make one stick to your stomach. Grab a sneezes? No, some guy in Caves Cove down in Tennessee was messing with a bear. Yeah, but see what happens is then if the bear goes to attack, the bear ends up getting put down. The baby cubs, yeah. I. Yeah, I see, that's a meat peaches. You know, stay away from the wildlife. And it seems like the ones there that are even in the, they used to be the carnivals, now it's just what the ones that are that are even in the, in the amusement parks. <laughs> well, hell, close that door. Thank you. They're frozen, so you should just let them out in your mouth. I fought the bear and the bear one, I fought the bear and the there, one. Yep. Yeah, I, I 
to say carnival rides like that stuff. I mean, there's one there that the guy, they actually inspected it. The outside tube, excuse me, <coughs> the outside, what they call facing tube, was intact. The whole inside that's supposed to hold the bottom on was completely rusted and cracked. I don't know where I saw the video, but I'm like, yep, ain't riding no shit. Yeah, Danielle, figure, fight, put that in the story. What? Find a place for that. I fucked the bill. Baby sleeping. Well, he's not a baby, but he's in mommy's room no. sleeping. He was asking where the baby bear was. No. Mm-hmm. Gotta earn my spot. You never have to <coughs> earn your spot here, Daniel. You just always got a spot. I found out we just like Milky Way. So you yeah, William. See, that's I can't. Can you uh, put cold water in that? Cold. Okay, how about it? Anybody want a frozen Milky Way? You want some of your mix in it too? No. But there is. Do you want some lemon? I will dump the lemon because I know you better than that. Nope. Yeah, that's the problem. So, <laughs> excuse me. You don't mess with wildlife. I found this one today. You don't mess with the wildlife. That's good, right there. I didn't even put any in. That's enough. I don't want any more. It makes your stomach sour. Oh. Okay. I can't let it go. Because if I do, it'll make my story go away. Here's a picture of Felicia's baby. That's not wow. an alien. Wow. You're mean. I mean, that alien's pretty cute. Russell said, that baby's scary. She's me. having an alien. <laughs> I'm not having an alien. That shit pops out while I'm in that delivery room. I'm running. I'll, I'll film on the way out the door. No, it's true, Peaches. He is a dumbass. And you're excused, but yeah, dumbass. You're going to play with a bear that's that's 400-pound freaking one-man ripping machine. <laughs> more is a dang, more like bye, Felicia. <laughs> we are not, and that's actually what it says on it. I don't know if you could read it, but it said something like nine months after storming Area 51, 51. Uh, women be like, here's my king or something. I don't know. Right? Yeah, that's what it says. If you're not going to eat your candy, give it to me. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> I haven't put it in practice. He's just using language. Yeah, I mean, basically, you don't. All right, uh -huh. Daniel, have a great night at work. Later, Cater. You don't mess with bear bears. Don't mess with wildlife, period. You know, don't you know the bear role? I don't have to outrun the bear. I just need to outrun you. Hmm. Love you too, Danielle. <coughs> no idea. Yeah, that's the first time with trolls that I've ever seen that program like that. Jeremy? So, we got to keep an eye on that. True there, Mari. That's true, Mari. The bears. Yeah, that's the problem, Mari. You know, I mean, stay, and even uh, Will and Dawn the other night were talking about that Sunday in their live stream. And it, it's 300, it's, what is it? 50 yards, 150 feet. That you right. Or whatever it is, and whatnot stuff. Half a football length, whatever that is. You know, don't be stupid, especially if she's got cubs, because she's going to come running off your ass trying to protect those cubs. Stupidity. <coughs> All I know is it's very warm again. Here we go again with idiots. Jeremy? 
No, it's gone. A new subscriber, Wallow Ice, so they're going to try to, that's how they do it. They have to be subscribed in order to get it into your channel. Yeah, so, see what you're saying. No, so I just, to. I block it. Should be able to block it. <laughs> Karen's trying to do Karen leave peaches alone. What are you doing? That is true, Charlie. That's why I'm not going to go with you to go see bears. Nikki! Hi, Joseph. Hi, Nikki for foot. Turn the new subscribers off your screen. Okay. Hang on. We got another idiot troll. So you're seeing them before me. Yeah, hang on, BTD. I can do it from here. See, I'm del on a delay, so I don't even see anything yet. What am I? No. Mickey Noodles! Mickey Foot Foot! We have to do it another way. Can't do that. How are you, Joseph? Not much here. We've been talking about weather and road trips and... There. Should do it. Nikki, you have a good birthday yesterday? I didn't see anything either, Karen. I don't know. BTD said it's in settings where you just turn off new subscribers. Only for, for, just for the live stream, BTD, we don't want to permanently turn off subscribers. No. <laughs> yeah, well. I can't do that. Shouldn't mess here. with them anyway. Hey Joseph. Hi D. Sorry, I'm kinda busy. Oh sweet Joseph. Now off the stream on the stream labs, he said. Alright, ignited coyote. You have a great night. Yes, I know I love it. I love it, Peaches. We're like birthday sisters, right Nikki? Love it. I have one other good friend that, that has the same birthday as me, and her sister has the same birthday as Bob's brother, so it's pretty cool. Everybody loves Nikki. Okay, we should be good. All right, I got it. Thanks. I know, Denise. Cool. Nice, Nikki. Oh, that's awesome, Joseph. Awesome. It was good, Nikki. I mean, I was home from work, so that's always a plus. We didn't really do anything. Bob was sick for a couple days. But um, sometimes just a little relaxation is kind of all I needed on my birthday. So that was fine. Sure. All in all, it was a good day. See, there's another one just popped up. Or is that what you were talking about? That's what I was just talking about. I don't see it here. Jacob Wells MJ just subscribed. It plops right up on the screen. BTD yeah, I, said it's the Streamlabs. Yeah, I just blocked that, so... <coughs> oh. It shouldn't have came up. No, Lady Base, we didn't. Because with him being sick, we really didn't go out for a couple of days. I was thinking maybe Friday, taking her to Valenny's. It's a restaurant there. The... Um, Menu is up on Misfits and Dreamers group if you guys want to go look at it. It's kind of our hideaway place. 
to kind of get away from everybody. It's kind of small. It's quite great food, though. So I'm thinking maybe taking her out to dinner Friday if I can. If we don't drown. Karen, you guys aren't seeing people's names like popping up on the screen. Thank you, Peaches. Yeah, I... All right, so maybe I'm just seeing... Well, that's even weird. I don't know. Hang on. Joseph said, that's 30 is not old, hon. Nope, not old at all. All right, how come I'm only seeing it then? That's so bizarre. 47, you're still a young and Charlie. And BTD says old fart. Yeah, Cynthia, you and me, yep. Totally, yep. <laughs> Although I want to have the knowledge I have now at my age. I don't want to trade that. Never want to trade my knowledge. All right, Karen. Well, then that's our problem, but it's the camera is so much better than on his computer. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure this out, guys. Just keep talking. We're we're doing fine. All right. Yeah, Cynthia, I know. At 30, I was still pretty naive about a lot of things in life. I definitely admit that. Really, Nick? I'm 53. What does that make me? Yeah, I think there. I think right. You're right, Rhonda. There's something about hitting 30. I don't think it bothers me with 30. I don't think 30 ever bothered me. I don't think any age bothered me. It was just the number. You're not physically on Good night, Christina. I mean, physically 53. I mean, I've got some bad disc in my back and my knee or whatever, but I mean, just psychologically, it never... Good night, Christina. Have a great night. Never bothered me. Yeah, Cynthia, I hear you. I, I, yep, I hear you. I actually, I turned 61 yesterday. Um, and, you know, I really, I try not to even... Yeah, that's a that guy with that idiot car going by, William. I try not to even think... Doesn't bother me. ...about the age, because I have lost so many family members and friends at much younger ages. So I feel really blessed. Um, to be my age, and, and I'm not, you know, I never try to hide my age, I am... I, being 53, and I think, say, God willing, I'll be 54 in November. Is it? Just physically, I wish I was just in a little better shape where I, I could move around a little more. But, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You do the damage, you pay for it. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm laughing at Charlie and Peaches. Same problem at 12 a.m. What? I missed something, Joseph. Yeah, Mike, I, I agree, but like like Cynthia and I agreed on, but I'd want my knowledge that I have now. Really, Rhonda, 30? <laughs> I'd want all the lessons I've learned and my knowledge. I don't, you know, everybody, oh, if I could turn back time. I, I really wouldn't. I wouldn't want to relive that kind of stuff, you know. If yeah, I could go absolutely. back and know what I know now, absolutely. But otherwise, yep, Cynthia it goes way. Okay, way let's back. do this. If you could go back twenty years, twenty years, what would you say to yourself twenty years ago? Go. Let's see what you say. Oh, at twelve a.m., Joseph. Okay, Bob is never fair. Twenty years ago, what would I say to myself? I think I was ten. All right, Joseph, your exception to a rule. <coughs> I think I would tell myself to not stress the little stuff and to pick my battles. Nice. Um, I I think that would be yep. Slow down, and live in, in the, the moment, moment. Cynthia. Absolutely, and not stress so much. Don't get married the first time. Yes, D. Absolutely. <laughs> Hey, Cubby. How are you? Hi, Cubby. Absolutely. 
Absolutely, Nikki. Yep, no, it knew, so, no. So, so leave him alone, don't call him. That's funny, Lily. There's got to be a story behind that, sweetheart. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit cooler here, but yeah, we're supposed to have heat in the seas Friday, Saturday, Sunday into the hundreds, Cubby. I smell rain. Karen, I agree there. Yes, Rhonda. Hip hop. If I could turn back time. If I could turn back time. If I could go back 20 years and what I would tell myself, buy, buy fruit stock. Better known as Apple. Yeah, you're getting rain too, Joseph. Over there tonight? Yeah. We got spotty showers here, but it's okay. We can manage with that. I don't. That doesn't bother me at all. I think that's the same for all of us, Lily, you know? Everything in life is a lesson. Yeah, Peaches. Amen, sister. Amen on both sides, guys and girls. Amen. Hot in Chicago? Yeah, we're getting the heat. I was here. thinking about you, Cubby, yesterday. I went out towards Chicago, and I see it was quite the warm there. Oh, I was Karen, like, oh. that's awesome. Yeah, I got a lot to go, but... What actually saved my life, and you're all going to look at me when I say this, is believe it or not, what saved my life was um, diabetes, being a diabetic. I mean, think about it. I found out I went from 5, A1C from 5 to 11 in a year, was a mess, had a doctor that gave a poop, and went, you need to lose the weight, you need to start getting healthy. So, basically, diabetes. What? Nothing. You're looking at me like you got four heads. <coughs> You're allowed to speak. And remind me to kill my granddaughter because she thought she was funny to put warm water in my cup. Yes, we do, Zard. We absolutely do. And a fourth one on the way, little boy. Thanks, Zard. 85. I don't know what it is. Actually, I can tell you what it is here. Hang on, Cubby. 81. <coughs> Winds out of south at 10. It's 81. Chicago, my kind of town. Hey, Cubby, can you send me a deep dish pizza? Just freeze it. Send it overnight. Mm -hmm, dry ice. Please. I'll what? pay you back, I promise. What was it? Chicago pies, huh? The one like did with Dean and, and Death. Oh, yeah. Sit down, Dean. <laughs> Why is this bouncing? I don't know that answer. It's here. Put it into motion. You know what's funny about that coming? I can't get a good deep dish pitch pizza here. It's all like like crap, or it's like. New York style or New York style is fine. No, I want to. I want a deep dish Chicago pizza. Yeah. Never had one, so I can't say. We're right on the edge of it, and it's coming through the other side. See what I can do. Thank you. Twenty-three inches in four days. That's insane, lady. So freeze it and send it. I will pay you back. Good for you, Joseph. Really, Chris? See Chris about t-shirts. Really, Chris? I love you too. Ha <laughs> ha, Chris. Really. Bonnie, Charlie. Yes, we are in New York. Just up the road, so scary. What I miss. Where did you find it, Mike? The 
Love you too, Chris. <laughs> Yeah. Thinking about you the other night, Chris, when those bad thunderstorms went through, and I got even on my phone here, it popped up, went to this computer, and with all that rain, you guys, it was like, oh, hell on wheels. Actually, Chris was looking for a... Tr Do you know if there's an Amtrak crate, uh, train station down in Knoxville, Chris? Do you know of? Or any kind well, of train station? Well, you said there's... Yes, but it, it's... A train that goes from here to Knoxville. Yeah. But I gotta find out and see where... Come on, Cubby, you're killing me here. No, really, dude? said no. Said something was wrong with what you looked up. Hi, Cleeso. Change your name? What? He's telling you to change your name, and it's really you. Remember Cleeso? She hasn't been yeah, Cleeso. Cleeso. Yeah. Did you change your name, Sweet Pea? Please tell me it's you. Well, because we've had our share of trolls in here tonight. So. And if it is cool, you, Mike. Again. No Amtrak. What about airports, Chris? My wife just gave me that fear look. You know why, Chris. What are you banging on? Why are you banging? Yes, Charlie, just today, actually. Promise said, hey, Bob. Charlie, want to go? Hey, hey promise. promise. Mr. Bucky, I really lost something here with somebody having cancer surgery and Mr. Bucky passed away. I don't know who that is. Okay. Um, the no, he was looking up Am we have an Amtrak station near us, Chris, and he put in like Amtrak to Knoxville it's, and there was like a even a price, so that's kind of odd. Yeah, no. Actually, what do you mean, hello? Actually, what I saw, because um, Felicia told me about it, and I was like, what are you talking about? She said, you haven't seen all the memes about Area 51, September 20th. I would the storm, storm Area 51, <laughs> Charlie. I'd start Storm Wrights Field. Keep going, sorry. No, it's fine. And so then what I saw was that it, it drew enough attention from the Air Force to where the Air Force responded with, you know, please be advised, this is a military training base, and no one should be storming, basically, it's right, not Chris, verbatim, thank you. a military training base, because should that happen, you know, basically, we're going to shoot. So... Ah, uh, promise. Not good. Pardon me, guys. Oh, ouch, promise. Yeah, peaches. I mean, that's basically what I, I, you know, irregardless of what you believe or what's in there, or what isn't in there, like. And then there was a, a joke one. Area fifty one. Yeah, I saw said, it. And besides, you know, we moved all the aliens to Area fifty two. So you know, no matter what, they're going to shoot if people really do that. Treadsfield. And it kind of it started as a joke, but like over a million people now have signed up. There's a book out there, yeah. it's called The Day After Roswell, and this guy, and again, you, you put stock in it, but you don't. It's uh, basically a guy that was a colonel and another guy that was a guard, and where they moved them, which was in Area 51, it was Patterson or wherever it was in Ohio. The aircraft went to New Jersey, you know, so again, believe what you want to believe. Yes, it is an active military base, Chris. Area 51, Suicide Central. Amen, beaches. <laughs> yeah, I, I would not uh, venture. Lily, you too. Thanks for stopping in. Night, Lily. Love you. Be safe. Send in love. And Rhonda, yes, I did read your... Um, Message about hush puppies and butter. Tracy. Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hi, ah, Denise. 
You know, we have a running joke here, Denise. There's this guy that walks by my house every day. Same clothes, glasses, dark, like like men in black, dark long type glasses. Ponytail. Long ponytail. But very robotic walking. Like. Ve yeah, very kind of robotic <clears throat> walking. Swear to God, he's an alien. So the other day when I came home from the pig roast, I was going across the street. I swear to God, I get here, click, 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 like he was taking pictures with me. But I know he was taking pictures of you, but it is a little odd. You know, everyone that has said hello to him, like he doesn't respond to anybody. I'm sure there's a really good reason for it, but... Just creepy. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Charlie. I'm sure they have towers all over there. And they're not going to play. And then that's going to be a tragedy. Hey, Amber Ann. Hey, Amber Ann. How are you? Can I have a cigarette, please? Probably start hacking my brains out again. No <coughs> way to find out. Okay. Th thank you, Mindy. Thanks, Thanks Mindy. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Chris. You want me to smoke what? Alright, Chris, I'll figure another way around. You know me. Just a logistics problem. I know that there's one that goes to Nashville, but that's a hell of a ride from Nashville to Pigeon Forge. Is Memphis closer? How far is Memphis from you, Chris? Hours. Just for sake of argument. Can everybody else hear me? What? It didn't pick it up. I hope. Yeah. Okay, Clisio. Although Leah is, is easier. Hey, Leah. <coughs> Miles. All right, Chris. I'll figure out something, you know me. There's a will, there's a way. You got it? Yeah, I do know. Oh dear. Okay, folks, thank you. I don't know why you have no sound. Oh, in fact, she has no sound. That doesn't help, does it? Okay. Good. Don't start, Mike. I'm doing pretty good. I'm down to like one cigarette a day again. Oh yeah, Peaches. We were just we were just talking about different ways we could get down there. So Bob was looking at Amtrak because we have an Amtrak station near us. There's an Amtrak station by you, uh, Amber, that we were looking to figure out, because Bonnie doesn't like to fly. Not flying. Amber, how far are you from Pigeon Forge, driving, hours-wise? If I can't go one way, I may be able to go to the other. <laughs> yeah, not flying. About four-ish. That's not horrible. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Train. Yeah, Bonnie does a fly job. Yeah, I mean, I'm, we're just looking at different options. I'm taking Karen's broom, Karen's broom service to the Smokies. Uh-huh. No. All right. Yeah, Chris, tell Mindy we all said hello, and thank you for looking that up. Yeah, that's not far, Amber Ann. Want to pick me up and bring me to Pigeon Forge? 
I'll even rent your room. We wouldn't have vehicle there either, because my sister <coughs> doesn't want to ride either. Yeah, there is one in Nashville. That I knew, Chris. Isn't one in Nashville. Yep, I know it only takes two hours. And the funniest part, Cynthia? And she'd be screaming. When I was younger, I my sister lived in Florida. I flew all the time by myself, back and forth. Every yeah, year. that might be a way too deep. Um, and then I didn't fly for like 20 years. And nothing ever even happened, but I developed this extreme phobia. All right, Nikki. All right, Nikki. Tell Matt, said I. Two hours of complete fear. I flew, well, I'll tell you when I flew last. Um, the December right after 9-11, my nephew passed away. And I flew to Florida. I had to be there for my sister. I knew I didn't have a choice. I had to get there, and I had to get there quick. And Night, um, Mike. Mike tries going by. Oh, good night, Mike. Thanks for stopping in. Um, and I knew that, you know, I had to get there quick. Well, from Albany down to New York, you go on a prop job, which I hate even more. And I, I was so hysterical on the plane. And the stewardess said to me, honey, why are you so afraid? Is it because of 9-11? And the funny part is, I wasn't afraid because of 9-11. Because security was at an all-time high. Love you too, Tracy. Good night. Had nothing to do with that. Good night, Tracy. Love you. Say hello to Scott. And I said to her, it has nothing to do with 9-11. I said, I just never, ever want to have that fear as I'm, as I'm going down. Like I, that's my, like, I don't want to die with that fear. And she said, you'll never, you'll never know the difference once you hit the ground. And I was like, you're not helping, and it made me even more hysterical. Pour it out. So, yeah, I, I, yep, no, I just, I have no idea why I developed a phobia. We flew to Florida, and we were headed into... It was just a year after when my sister had the cancer surgery. Yep, Palm Beach, and you can hear when the, the bottom's open and the front wheel and the two side wheels come down. They lock. They go, boom, you can hear them. <laughs> I had a pair of headphones on. She slapped the headphones off my head and went, Did you hear that? No, I had headphones in my ears. <laughs> Love you too, Tree. Yeah, but I did that the whole way down. The whole way down. Bouncing around, you and the guy, and I don't know who was worse. You were the guy <laughs> next to you. Freaking and I out. try everything. I look around at everyone else, and I go, All right, nobody else is panicking. Take a deep breath. You can get through. It, it was an awful, awful feeling. Good night, Joseph. Good Love night, you. Joseph. Oh, 10 hour flight. Yeah, nope. Thank you, BTD. Yeah, no, most, and I did when I was younger, Charlie. Like I said, I have no clue what happened. Never had a terrible experience. Never. Flying. And I, I just developed this phobia. Flying doesn't bother me. I mean, you know, my, my problem is, and you heard this, when your time is up, it's up. What happens on your plane, you're on a plane, and the guy next to you, his time is up? You would be screaming mess to chick what? If I was on a plane, I'd be screaming mess to chick <laughs> And you thought it was fun, Amber Ann. Oh, God, okay. That's my girl. Well, I'd be screaming right along with the rest of them. It's like, like being on a roller coaster. Tell them, Amber. Bouncing around. Do you? I don't know if you remember the first flight when we were flying from New York to South Carolina and he had to go below because we were bouncing around with the turbulence. They you better went, knock me out, Charlie. They went from 35,000 feet down to 21,000 feet because of the bad thunderstorms. I mean, yeah. that plane was rocking. <laughs> Everybody's, yeah. like, freaking out. I thought it was fun. I'm like you, Amber. I thought it was hysterical. Yeah, you'll have to knock me out, Charlie, just like they used to do with Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> Amber goes, it's like, wee! No, give me, give me an injection or something. Put me That's on funny, Amber. <laughs> Yeah, Peaches, we're tr we can't figure it out either. Isn't that... That's funny, Amber Ann. But that's great.
That's funny. Doesn't bother me at all. Oh my god, my sinuses are killing me. Yeah, unfortunately my fear of flying is going to limit wherever I go, but I, listen, there's plenty to see here in the States, and I, I would rather drive it, even though I know that's, it's now safer see, to fly. Boats scare me. Yeah. One word, Titanic. Well, that's, that's that was that. There's one what in Seymour? Train station, Jessica? Can you hear now, Flo? Can you hear us now, Flo? Can you hear me now? Thirty minutes from Pigeon Forge, Seymour. Why well, no? My sister goes to Seymour. Seymour, Tennessee. Hang on, we're back. Yeah, I've heard of Seymour. I know it's not far. There's a train station in Seymour, but not like Amtrak train. Hang on. Yes. Hear me? Seymour Public there? Transportation, Seymour Tennessee Airport, Amtrak stations. Oh. It's a it's a it's a hub. <laughs> Vince is in Seymour, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, who knew? How about that? And with Elvis, there you go. I don't know, you might still have to knock me out. Yeah, it's a hub. Jeremy? Oh, that's Amtrak Freight. B2D set. That's just Freight. I don't have a problem for the last 30 minutes and one not being in a, in a boxcar. There you go. Go in the boxcar and sing Bobby McGee. Me and Bobby. Yes, promise. <coughs> well. I have to check out if they're at Seymour. I have to check it later. Or tomorrow. But again, thank you. That's why we have a nice family. I can't do it. They can't. Well, BT said he doesn't know for sure. I think that's what he's talking about. Yeah, but if Vince lives in Seymour. Yeah, you know, see, that's weird, Amber. She doesn't like theaters, but she can sit on a bounce-out plane and whatnot all over Helen Creation. <laughs> She's fine with it. <laughs> or David Cassidy. I know I love you for a reason, Amber. Maybe that's why I thought. I saw David Cassidy in concert when I was 13 years old. Thanks, Jess. Appreciate that. There's another one behind us. Can you hear it starting to rumble? Yeah, I'm sure they would, Jessica. And my sister lives right down there in Pigeon Forge. Well, it's the beer mill. But, um, problem is her vehicle is not doing so good. And ours, unfortunately, I don't think will make the trip. So, that's what we'll we're figure it to out. We out. always do, time wise. Not, not in a position where we can rent a car, so. We'll have to see. Yeah, I'm sure they'll see what they put Will and Dom in. <laughs> we would still need a car down there, Bobby. We can't go down there and not have a car. We'll take it one step at a time. 
getting there is the problem. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, now I need cough drops. Actually, Cynthia, to be honest with you, even when I'm like go to Walmart or we go to our local grocery stores, because all the bit with the shootings and everything else, I am so hyper aware. <laughs> Really promise. Yeah, Amber and my friend Shara is the same way. It's very difficult. See, so you're like me, Amber. And I don't, I mean, I'm not. Like once in a while, and I don't know why, and I'll tell, tell you guys this. Like every once in a while, if I go to like like the grocery store, I get this anxiety, lack of a better word, but it's rare that it happens. Now how you get anxiety? Because you're in the store talking to everybody. Not I have all always. the shopping done, and you're still in the first aisle. That's, that's a fact. Don't that's tell that's me. because you drive around with the cart and try to run into people. <laughs> I'm sure do not. Oh, lady, what a walker. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Amber and yeah, my friend Char is the same way. Very, very difficult for her to be in um, crowds of any kind, in any kind of event or something like that. Um, it's very difficult. Yes, promise. Love that movie. She has the same, the same thing. Yep. And actually, promise wasn't Tales from the Crypt. It was... Um, Twilight Zone, the movie. But yeah, still great scene. I don't know. Was it Alfred Hitchcock with the alien on the wing? No. That was, no? Twilight Zone. That was Twilight the movie Zone, yes. With John Lithgow? Yes, okay. That's what she's talking about? Okay. Yeah. It's Twilight Zone. Oh, God. I saw that years and years ago. That's a good movie. I love Tales from the Crypt movies. And you can actually watch them on YouTube for free. Oh, D, that's awesome, because that has to be... Kendra! Normal. Hi, you finally made it. <coughs> Where's Kendra? I don't see Kendra. Kendra, there's Kendra. Hi, Kendra. It's funny, because being here on the hill, we are in the flight path to the Albany County Airport, and you can actually, when the clouds are low, you can hear the planes going in on their flight path. It sounds like they're like five feet above the house. Even like the little Piper Cubs when they go in, and it's like. So one day I was laying in the tub there, and I could hear it. I'm like, "Yep, this is where I'm gonna buy it, naked in a tub from a plane crash." Yeah, that's not good, Amber. How are you, Kendra? How was your day? Huh. Yeah, that'll give you anxiety, Karen, right? Good Not camera. bad. Not bad. A little warm, but we're expecting a little thunderstorms pop ups, but we're supposed to have heavier rain tomorrow night into Thursday. Where you been, Kendra? We missed you. Out on the town tonight, Kendra? Well, that's good, at least, Amber Ann. Oh, she's on the phone. Okay. Yeah. There you go. There you go, Karen. Yeah, but you know what? Bob doesn't need to sit just in the seat with his feet up with a pair of headphones on. Don't bother me. <coughs> well, second list my... Karen, you remember Rush 2112 extended version? That's actually, I had a, an old Walkman, cassette Walkman, that just dated me. But that's what I had on with the little bunny. He's like, did you hear it? No, I got a pair of headphones on. Yeah, I went knuckle fly. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. It makes me too crazy. See, Cynthia, I don't agree with that. I, I can't. 
I'm not going to get into a discussion on, on the, you know, Second Amendment rights or anything, but carrying concealed weapon, like, that would make me nervous. Yeah, me too. That would make me nervous. Yeah, Amber Ann, and I don't, yeah, I don't even want to get into it. There's certain things I agree. I have the right to bear arms. I have short sleeve shirts on. I would be quite unnerved, Cynthia. Not here in New York. Oh, purse is considered. There you go. Got it now, promise. I'm losing power. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, I saw you posted that, Kendra. Are you here? Night, Charlie. Today? All right, Charlie. Have a great night. Love you, too. Be safe. Love to you, Molly, and the kids. Yeah, we're going to go soon. I saw, I think Tracy, somebody posted that you guys were going to do the helicopter ride, and I was like, yeah, you crazy people. Yeah, Peaches, we saw it. Get that in, can we? I didn't get my. I'm not sure I can get my other thing to come back up. That's all right. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. It is, and it's trying to plug in. Yeah, we. That's a good thing, Karen. See, that's the big thing. It's 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 not the ones there that that are rightfully carrying. It's the ones there that have bad intent. Yeah, Cynthia, that's so very. My true. handbag is a weapon. Oh, so Rhonda. Bonnie's. Rhonda, I think mine weighs about forty pounds now. I'm convinced. I really am. Bonnie takes and swings out at somebody's head. Their head's going. I couldn't even lift it far enough to swing it. And I always look at it like Heads I gotta take stuff out, but I can't find anything that I can not have in there. She's like, here, carry my purse downstairs. <coughs> well, Malia does it. Yeah, because she's falling down the stairs with a handbag. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> yeah, mine too, Rhonda. If I had the strength to swing that thing, it hurt somebody. <laughs> language barrier. My cut is in my un oh here we go. Don't you know? This is my rifle, this is my gun, this is for killing, this is for fun. I was gonna say your walker, Amber Ann, is in your purse. That's not helpful. <laughs> Nor is that small. Oh, that's too funny. Well, that is normal. The stuff I carry is not normal. Yeah, he went there. It's okay. It's an oopsie. Oopsies. Yeah, you know, I had a, a actually girl that I dated back in the day. Her roommate worked way up north in one of the lakes, way up in the Adirondacks. And I get up there with her, and lo and behold, kids are screaming, and they're in the, the chow hall. I'm like, what the hell are you screaming at? So there's a bear, and I'm like sitting on the, the hood of the car, right? And I'm sitting there grabbing the, the little apples or whatever is on the ground and I'm throwing them to the bear. This guy yells at me. He goes, hey, that's a wild bear. And I went, and? Yeah. I mean, he was down the hill. It's not like I was kind of creeping toward him. I was just sitting on the hood of the car feeding him apples. 
Kept throwing apples, kept eating. And when I ran out, he kind of looked at me and took off. If anyone knows about autocorrect, it is Kendra. All right, Kendra, go ahead. All right, Kendra. Yeah. Kendra certainly knows about that autocorrect. That's how KC was born, our mascot. I don't know, Peaches. Chris, you still here? Yeah, Amber Ann, I don't blame you. Two, two purses stolen, that'll do it. Still here, Peaches. He's still here, Peaches. So, Chris, my friend, when are you going live again? Or have we missed them? No. I have It would show right up on my... Yeah, you get the notifications, right? All right Good night, Amber Ann. Love you. Love you. Have a great night. <laughs> Chris is clean his gun. Agreed, Cynthia. Let me know, Chris. Oh, come on, Karen, that was hysterical. Well, at the moment, I could see why she would feel it wasn't. It, at the moment, it wasn't, but the way she told it, it was hysterical. Well, it's hysterical for us now, but for Karen... How did moment, that feel, Karen? As a moderator, no less. <coughs> <coughs> happens. Flying up with Kendra in a helicopter. All right, guys, we're going to call it a night. Bonnie's got to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah. Daughter went thing, so the kids are in the room with the air conditioner, so it should be a quiet night. <laughs> I'm sorry, Garrett. Not that I don't love you, but it was fun. Yeah, I promise. I hear what you're saying, though, about protecting the kids. Absolutely. No, I'm sure it was, Karen. I'm sure it was. All right, guys. Everybody have a good night. Have a good week. Love you all. Love you all. I will see you Saturday night. What about the quiz night? Yeah, BTD with Bob sick the last couple days. We just didn't. That's why we didn't do it. I mean, I was, I didn't even have a chance. I was so sick. So maybe Saturday night we'll do trivia. That'll be kind of cool. Oh, dear Lord, Jessica. Good night, Chris. Our love to Mindy. Night, Chris. Love, love you, you much. Love night, Mindy. Love you. Love you too, BTD and Rhonda. Good night, Jessica. Cynthia Zard. We will be safe. We love you all. Promise. If I Jessica. decide to go live again before it's Saturday, you'll be the first to know. Leave the notifications on. All right, guys. Have a great week. Stay cool. We'll see you soon. I know, Karen.